guys, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts again. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a project that I kind of got excited about last night. I found a video and um, I thought, what a cute idea. And so I decided I'm going to do a video. And so what I did last night was I, first I sat down to make sure I could do it. Look how cute this is, everybody. This is a little um, hat. And it's a refrigerator magnet, but you could make it into a brooch or something. I mean, the possibilities are endless, really. Um, but I just thought it was a super cute idea. It's super easy, and I thought you guys would enjoy um, seeing a video on this. So I went ahead and made this one. I was really, really happy with it. I thought it came out really super cute. So we're going to go ahead and just dive into this one um, real quick here. Uh, let's see. The things that you're going to need is you're going to... I used one of these um, bling spools that I get my rhinestone chain on. Um, so I used this. Not that you have to have it. You can have anything that's around this same size around because you're just going to use this as a template to cut out. Um, this is cardstock paper that I used, and I just cut out a circle, um, basically using a pencil and this spool. I just drew the circle on the paper and cut it out. I just fussy cut it. So I just took it like this, went around. I'm going to be making a bunch of these little guys. I thought these would be a cute item to have in my shop. So you've got a perfect circle, and it's the perfect size for this size hat. So you'll need that. You'll need a piece of card, at least cardstock uh, type paper. You don't want to use regular paper on this. You could take a piece of cardboard from a cereal box. Um, you know, there's really a lot of ways you could go with this. So um, just make sure that, you know, you have something that you can draw that circle about that size. And I'm going to say this is about uh, maybe two and a half inches. I don't have my, my measuring tape with me, so... I don't want to take the time to go and measure it, but I'm going to say it's it's easily two and a half inches. I would say almost exactly. Um, so that's how I got my little circle. The other thing that you're going to need is this is two bottle tops for a water bottle. Just the ones that you get, you know, at the store, your basic water bottles. Um, I'll grab one of mine. And this is just the cheapy water. But just one of these little water bottles with the plastic caps. So you need two of those. And then just some embellishments. And I have here just some little paper flowers. I've got uh, my magnets here. And this is a magnetized jar so they won't fall out. <laughs> so that's where I keep my magnets. A uh, pair of scissors, of course. And some ribbon and that's another part of my embellishments and um, on this one today this is a piece of white velvet it's a crushed velvet you can see it's just kind of a wrinkly velvet but um, yeah it's a crushed velvet I've got two pieces of that here and then just some other little odds and ends you can twist this any way you want it to suit your own desires. So, um, you know, just have fun with it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, my two bottle caps and on the first one I'm gonna go at the top of the cap. There's the inside there. I'm gonna do it at the top. I'm going to put a ring of hot glue just around the edges there and then I'm going to take my other bottle cap and I'm going to set it on top trying to be careful to get it lined up 
with the other one so that it doesn't fall whoops, sideways and then I get glue stuck to my hand. So there we've got the two bottle caps glued together. Next thing I'm going to do is flip it over and on the bottom side, I got glue in my fingernails. Oh my goodness. Um, that's what I get for starting working first thing in the morning. I'm going to be doing another video right after this too and wait till you guys see that one. It's going to be so cool, but I thought this would be a quick video. Um, so I'm going to go to the inside where the bottle cap is open, this side, and I'm going to put glue all along the edge there because we're going to be gluing this to the top of this little piece of paper. And I'm going to make sure I have plenty of glue on there and don't worry about oozing or anything like that because this is going to be covered up. And I'm going to find the center point and I'm just going to plop that down. Get a good visual on it, make sure it's centered. There we go. So that's our base for our hat. Easy peasy. And you can see this cardstock is pretty good. I don't know what number the paper was that I uh, used. I don't even know where I got the paper, but anyway, it's cardstock. So any, any cardstock paper that you've got sitting around, you could use an old file folder, a cereal box, like I said, anything with about that, that thickness of cardboard would work. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bigger piece of velvet here and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue all over the top of this hat and along the edges here, just like that. Find my little center point here and I'm just going to press that fabric onto the bottle cap. You guys are just not going to believe how easy this is. And then I'm just going to take it and go all the way around. I'm going to put glue up along the side and along the, the rim. And then all you got to do is take it and kind of scrunch it when you press it down into the glue so that you have these little um, almost ruffles like. So we're just going to go all the way around the cap doing that. Just do it in sections though so you don't get ahead of yourself and so that you get the right, um, you know, the right, the ruffles in all the right places and that. Just take your time. but press it into that the, this corner piece really well. And I am putting a very healthy amount of hot glue on here, just so that you know, just a, a nice good amount for that to stick to. And again, you're not gonna see the hot glue, so don't worry about it. It's not gonna, you don't have to be real particular about how you put it down. Okay, I've got one little spot here. There we go. And so that's what it looks like now. Not much of nothing. And you can see, <clears throat> I just took a piece of, of this fabric that was kind of an edge piece that was all misshapen and everything and I cut that off this fabric. I got this from, um, from Debbie Cottrell over at Kiki Sale. This wasn't something that she sold in her Facebook store, but I was asking her if she had any velvet because I was doing some little birds at the time and she sent me a few different colors of velvet and whoa, I was so excited when I saw this and I thought, oh, that would be perfect for my velvet fabric. So now I'm just gonna take it, actually I'm gonna go along the rim here and I'm just gonna sort of still bunching it up I'm gonna glue this down you see how I'm putting little bunches in there because I want it to look like a real whimsical you know 
hat. I want it to be fun. And so the more of these little, you know, pleats and things that you've got in it, or ruffles, the better. So I'm just going along the whole thing. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So you can see it's kind of all pleated around the edge of the hat. Now I'm going to take this fabric, and of course we don't need all that excess on there. It's just going to make a mess. So I'm just going to go around and I'm going to cut about, about down to a half an inch, maybe a little less, around the rim. And I'm just going to cut it out. I hope you guys like this video. I just thought it was the cutest thing and you can use these for embellishments on top of um, altered boxes that you do. How cute would that be with a pile of little flowers and then this kind of sticking out the, the edge. I just thought they were super cute. I've been kind of um, YouTube surfing lately looking for new um, different little projects that I could do and I'm just taking and putting glue along the edge and I'm just going to fold this in again pleating it over the edge and any bits that you have that are just kind of sticking up just get your hot glue and go over it and again you don't have to worry too much about any oozing because we are going to put we're going to use this little piece here to put an edge around it, or not an edge, to put over the bottom half. So don't worry about your glue so much. I mean, I know that's one of the things we always worry about is too much glue and ooze out and all that stuff, but this time you just don't have to worry about it. <laughs> it's not necessary. And again, I'm just trying to get my little pleats in there. So I'm just kind of squeezing it in because I kind of want it to pleat over the edge here. I put one of those little tiny glue sticks in my glue gun and it, those run out so fast for me. And one little piece sticking up here. And just kind of go around it and make sure that you've got it. Um, let me grab another piece of glue here. I'm going to use up these little ones that I have in here. You guys are probably noticing I'm not using Old Faithful these days. I've kept Old Faithful because I gotta tell you, she's been good to me. And I'm sure there may be a time when I will have to break her back out again when I get desperate and my other glue gun isn't working. You know, I have the big, pretty glue guns. I really do, you guys. I just don't like them because they're too big for my hands. So I'm not worried so much about how it looks on my videos. That does not matter. Okay, so we've got that all around the edge. That's what it looks like. And now I'm going to take this piece. And I think what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to draw a pencil mark. And I'm going to cut inside maybe about 
an eighth of an inch inside of that pencil line. So see that drew, that drew the circle on there pretty well. So I can see it. I'm just gonna go inside that line and cut my circle out. I didn't do that with my first one. I just kind of eyeballed it and I cut out a circle and I just didn't feel like it <laughs> came out quite as round as I would have liked it to. So it looks fine. I mean, I don't think anybody can tell but me, but I wanted to do it right in the video. And my future ones, this is exactly what I'm going to do because you saw how easy that was. Now on a darker piece of fabric, you might want to use like a white, one of those white sewing crayons that you can mark it with. But mark it on the back side. I marked this on the front side just because I knew I was going to cut inside the line. So now that's just going to go right there on the bottom of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue all the way around here and in the center of this. And we're just going to lay that piece of fabric down. Squeeze it on the edges. This fabric's so shiny, I thought I had glue squeezing out right here, but it's not. It's just the fabric, the shine in the fabric. I'm just going to make sure all, the, all of the edges are pressed down. So I'm just going to kind of go around it and see if I have any sections that are kind of lifting up. Because this is going to hold down that other edge as well. So I want to make sure that it's glued all the way up to the edge. And there we have it, all around the bottom. Okay, so now we get to embellish and decorate and all that good stuff. So, this one, I just kinda needed to decide what I was gonna do, I really wasn't sure. But I was thinking maybe to put a piece of this around the top or taking this ribbon because I do have these little flowers that I think I'm going to use and going around it with that, which looks really pretty. I think I'm going to use this ribbon actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what section I want to be at the bottom and I think I'm going to use this section right here. So at the top, I'm going to put just a dot of glue and I'm going to lay this ribbon right across that spot. And it's best if you put your glue along this little section of the hat right here. Just try not to get too much. I'm just going to do a dot here and there just so that I kind of get it attached going around. You really don't even have to do that because we're going to glue it down at the bottom. But for me, the, the girl in the other video didn't, didn't do that. And I kind of thought maybe it would be best to glue it down. That way I don't have to worry about it coming loose later on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and I'm going to I'm going to be crossing these ribbons like that and they'll be hanging down. So I'm just going to very quickly, I'll try and do this sideways so that you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put my glue there. And this one, I'm going to take like that. And this one, I'm going to take like that get the glue off my hand I have a little string right here that I need to get off of there okay so now we just have the ribbon sort of hanging down
And again, if you get a little lose out right here, not a huge big deal because we're going to be putting embellishments down there. So just keep remembering the embellishments are going to cover up any little imperfections that you might have. I'm gonna start with this little lace flower that I got from my friend um, Sher Sherry Lorang. And I'm gonna put this right here in the center. So a little dot of glue. And I'm gonna get a toothpick and I'm just gonna kind of press that down in there. Just like that. And this one has a little curl in it, so I'm just going to put like ever so light a dot of glue and press that down so that it's not sticking up. There we go. Much better. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Then um, I'm going to take some of this. This is off of an old shower curtain piece um, and it's just like little embroidered uh, flowers on like a mesh background. I'm going to take and I'm going to cut around these flowers as closely as I can because I kind of want to use some of this to decorate the hat but I don't want a whole bunch of that mesh showing. So I'm gonna see if I can get in close. If it doesn't look good, I won't use it, but I just thought this would be really pretty on this. So I'm just kind of going around it and getting as close as I can. In fact, this one, I think I'm gonna cut in and cut this piece off because then I can get more of that mesh out. There's that one, and this one's got a whole bunch, and I'm going to cut around this flower, and in here. This is just kind of the little detail stuff that if you take the time to pay attention to these extra little details, it really makes a difference in your final project. And if you're doing these as gifts for people, you know, they're gonna notice that you really, really um, took the time to make it as nice as you can. This stuff is not easy to work with. It's a little bit flimsy. I had some other of this that was on more of a like a chiffon fabric and it was a little bit easier to work with as far as cutting the pieces out. Oh goodness, my foot's asleep, you guys. I can't feel it at all. And I'm just gonna take these other pieces and do a little bit of the same. Back this one, I'm just going to cut the big flower out, leaving off the stems. Sometimes I find that just works better altogether to just kind of cut the big flowers out, leave the stems off, and they actually look prettier. And I think I'm going to do that on all of them. I'm just going to use the flowers because I just kind of feel like that mesh just does not look so pretty. In some things it doesn't matter, you can't really see it, but in this it kind of um, takes away from the velvet. So I don't want to do that. And get these other two little ones. And once you've done a couple of these, now I would normally prepare all this stuff ahead of time. I'd have it all ready and I would just, this would go together so fast. Um, and a lot of times I've already got this stuff all cut up and sitting in a box. But right now I just, I don't have any of it cut up. So 
I figured for the sake of you guys, if you have some fabric that has little embroidered flowers on it, use it for your projects. It is so wonderful to work with, especially on little things like this. And I thought with this dark ribbon and some of these dark flowers that are in this, I just thought it was going to be really, really pretty. Um, I'm planning, too, on using some of these flowers here, like down with this little daisy, kind of like that. I haven't decided. I'm going to have to turn it around and look at it. Anyway, I mean, this would be pretty to just use this, probably, but... I like my, I like the, the other flowers in there. So we're going to use them. I'm going to do a little bit of work here to see how I want this to look. For some reason, I am hearing a video in the background here, and it's driving me crazy. I think one of my videos just popped up on my computer. Hold on, you guys. I'll be right back. Nope. I am hearing things. Okay. So I'm just going to start uh, going ahead and gluing these guys down. I'm going to start right here. With the two bigger ones. And that's what it's looking like so far. This is just kind of up along the side of the hat. And now I'm going to take these edges and just put a little glue up under them and press those down. Now that I'm not going to press too hard because I don't want to um, have any squeeze out of the glue. So I'm just putting a tiny dot and just barely pressing that down. Just like that. And then I think
I'm just going to I'm going to start gluing these down. I'm going to put this one right there in the center, right there. And this one I'm just going to put the glue on one side of it because this is just a little bud. I'm going to have that coming out the side there. And Yeah, I, a big part of me wants to kind of have those kind of going up the side where the, the other ones are. I need to put a piece of glue right here because my flower bits were kind of separating there. Okay. And then I will put this one right over to the left. I wonder if I should have put some of these over to this side. No. I'm just going to put that one right there. And that looks super pretty. Oh my gosh, look how cute that looks so far. Super pretty. And I totally meant to put a bow down there before I put those flowers on, and I didn't do it. Um, so, but I want those hanging down. I'm going to see what I can do here. Because these will be a little bit shorter, just like that. And maybe I can take... this ribbon and I'm gonna just try and make a makeshift bow I don't know whether I'll be able to use it or not that's the problem because I didn't do this first so I made a little boo-boo but we're gonna see if we can make the boo-boo work so I've got that down and you guys, I'm not the world's greatest at doing bows like this, so don't be too hard on me. If I take my time with it, I can usually put together a pretty bow. But this one will look pretty, I'm sure, once it's done if I can get all the glue strings off of my hand so my hand isn't sticking to it. Okay. All right. And now I'm just gonna roll that around. I know I'm hearing my video. My computer is not lit up at all, but I know I am hearing a video because <laughs> I hear my own voice. <laughs> but I couldn't get my computer screen to come on. Okay, so let's see if we can somehow Squeeze this bow in there. It's going to look silly. I don't think I can do it, guys, and make it look good. Oh, I'm so bummed at myself for forgetting this. Let me take my um, toothpick and if I can press it in there, I might be able to get a better idea of whether or not it's going to look good. Yeah, I think it out. Actually, once it's pressed in, I think it's going to be fine. 
It's not exactly in the spot that I wanted it to be in, but that's okay too. But I'm going to press that in there really good to get it under that flower. There we go. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. And then let me just cut this one more time here. And I'm going to burn the edges of the ribbon because I don't want it to fray. So I'm just going to go real quick, just like that. And that one I burnt too much. And so now I have to cut this one one more time. All right, so there we go. Um, that's what I've got. Let me just have another look at it real quick and make sure that it's everything I wanted it to be. I'm thinking my little bag of teeny tiny flowers and I'm looking to see if I've got a teeny tiny flower to kind of go I'm going to put that one there because having a little white flower in there actually I can't believe I didn't think of that to begin with, but I want one that is sort of pink. I have another rosebud. It's too big though. Um, maybe one like this. I just want to look and see if I have one that's a little more pinkish. Than this one. I kind of doubt it. That one's peachy. I don't want peach. Okay. I think this. Oh, here's a pink one. Yes. What I'll do. As I will just kind of wind these two together. Real quickly. And I just want something kind of poking out here. There we go. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put a little dot of glue in there. I'm going to put that down. And I have, what did I do with it? Let's see. I have one of these stamens. I'm thinking I might be able to, in lieu of a pearl, have a couple of these just kind of poking out right here. Yes looks so pretty and I think I'm gonna cut off this little stem there because I really kind of don't like it okay so the last thing we got to do with this is we've got to put a um, magnet on the back side because this is going to be a refrigerator magnet 
and we're just going to take a little bit of our hot glue and pop that in the center there and that's what that looks like and there's our little hat so now I've got two hats made super quick super easy super fun um, it took me a little bit longer to do this just because I'm doing the video and everything, but look at you guys how cute that is. Super duper cute and easy and fun, fun, fun. Oh my goodness. I just love both of these so much. Look at them. Oh my goodness. And there's a lot of different possibilities for these. So you guys, I hope you'll give this, um, this little craft a try um man i think if you're anything like me you're going to get a little bit addicted to it um i'm going to be making some of these and i'll have some probably have some available in my etsy shop uh, for purchase if anybody is interested in in having some of them and you know if you don't feel like you want to make them but oh my goodness they are so cute on the refrigerator and so fun to make. So I hope you guys will give this one a try. And um, I'll be back again with another video. Getting ready to do one right after this. So stay tuned. I will be putting out actually a few videos. I did my video on my bottle. Um, so that one's up and ready to go. Um, I just don't know which ones I'm going to um, post first. Um, but I do want to say a big thank you to everybody who has been um, supporting my channel. If you're not subscribed, I hope you will consider um, subscribing and um, also hitting the notification bell down, uh, down below. And um, if, you, if you have a second, if you would just make a comment, that greatly helps my channel. It helps... Um, to get me noticed a little bit more by YouTube so that um, uh, they will throw my videos in front of more viewers. So the more likes I can get, I would like to have a goal of getting at least um, 200 likes on this video. Um, and look, at it's totally worth a like and a comment, I think. Um, but anyway, I do want to say thank you to everybody who has been supporting my channel and supporting my Etsy store. It is greatly helping me. Um, gonna have to get back to work here pretty soon because it's, it's just not enough for me to, to do this full time. But, um, that's okay too. I just, I need to get some videos done ahead of time so that I'm ahead of the ball game. Um, because I don't want to get behind on my videos. So anyway, again, thank you so much to everybody. Um, you've all blessed me so very much, and I hope you all have a very blessed day. Take care. Hope you had a good 4th of July, too. Um, but take care, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.